Hi, it's Rob. Um, I've decided to do a video not about intercoms. This is an important topic because, well, most people get this wrong. I was actually on a show the other day and um, the systems tech for a very large augmented reality company, uh, I asked him for a single mode jumper. And he took a fiber jumper that was not single mode, and he, with SAS in his sign language, was uh, decoupling this two-channel multi-mode jumper into what he was telling me with his SAS was uh, going to become a single mode jumper. And it was at that time I decided I had to do this video. So this is going to be a real quick discussion about what you need to know as an AV tech or a TV person about fiber. Is this all about fiber? No. Is there miles and miles deep and higher and lefter and righter about fiber? Absolutely. But these things right here are going to keep you thinking straight about fiber and communicating very um, efficiently and accurately with your other fellow TV professionals. So it's... Um, Five things the TV and AV people get wrong about fiber. I would urge you to watch the whole thing. If you got to speed it up and go 2x, fine. But watch the whole thing. The five things that people get wrong. <laughs> Channel count, cable type, connector type, polish type. Did you even know polish type was a thing? And color code. So stick with me and uh, let's go through them. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about as far as classifying and speaking specifically about fiber optics is channel count. How many fibers are we talking about? And I will say the answer has nothing to do with the word mode. <laughs> this is a duplex jumper. It has two fiber connectors or two fibers in the assembly. There are two pieces of glass down here. There are two individual connectors up here. You can actually see it here. They've been taken out of the keeper. This is a duplex jumper. There are two fibers involved. This is a simplex jumper. It, there is one fiber involved. Okay? Um, we're literally talking about how many fibers are involved. In audio, we sometimes talk about needing... Uh, if we want to run a microphone, oh, hey, I need a pair for the microphone, or I need a pair for the speaker, or whatever. There's two, maybe three wires inside there that they talk about as a pair to do one job. Well, fiber jobs can be done on one piece of glass, or they may require two pieces of glass. So channel count is very specific. This is a duplex jumper, two channels. This is a simplex jumper, one channel. Wow. <laughs> Never needed to say the word mode for any of these descriptions. So I call this a zip cable or a server room cable. It's got um, not a long lifespan. It's not really um, very durable. Um, it comes in a plastic bag and probably should be trashed after its first use. This would be more of a different type of cable, a more rugged cable. Um, I would call this a TAC-2. There are two pieces of glass in this thing, two on this end and then two over here. This is a duplex jumper, but just in a durable fo uh, format. So um, this is more of something you're gonna see in the broadcast world, really meant to stand up and be repeated use. Since we're talking about channel counts, let's get a little higher in channel count. And I have an example over here of a TAC-12 jumper. This has 12 connectors, 12 pieces of glass, all in individual little furcation tubes or buildup tubes. And ultimately, it does go to one body of cable, 12 cables in one cable. This is a TAC-12. 12. 12 channels of glass inside one fiber or one jacket. I call them tubes just to avoid the word pairs. Um, you could say channels, but one simplex, 
not single anything. Uh, two, duplex, not multi anything. Um, and then these tactical cables, you might find them TAC 1s, TAC 2s, 4s, 6s, 8s, 10s, 12s, and then probably in multiples of 12. You could get uh, one big job I do has a bunch of TAC 72s that go everywhere. So um, channel count, nothing to do with the word mode. Let's move on. What's next? All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is cable type. This is where we can say the word mode. <laughs> because what I'm talking about in this section is the word single mode or multi mode or the other multi mode. And this comes down to basic cable construction. This is the size of the fiber that's inside of everything. It's the type of light that's meant to be reflected in that fiber. This is all about um, original um, manufacturing intentions. This is not whether the cable is small or is maybe highly durable or has two fibers inside or 12 fibers inside. This is much more basic. This is almost like what language are we going to speak? And it is where we talk about single mode or multi-mode. Okay, so this cable I have here, let's see if I can find it, is absolutely single mode. It is actually written on the cable right there. Single mode, okay? Um, yeah, I know it has two channels in it. I'm not kidding. Single mode... <laughs> has nothing to do with channel count, okay? So um, this is a single mode cable. I can tell because it's printed in single mode. This is a single mode cable. It's also printed single mode. It's in there somewhere. This would where, be where we would call the classification OM1. I don't know what it stands for. I'm just a broadcast guy. I'm not a fiber guy. I'm just a broadcast fiber guy, right? These, I will tell you though, these I'm certain are single mode because they're yellow. It's standard practice to have jackets of some colors that mean something. This yellow cable indicates single mode construction. And then I'm gonna put up a little thing on the screen that has orange cable or aqua cable and when the cable is aqua or orange it is multi-mode and i'm going to say 99 percent of the fiber that is correctly used in broadcast and av world is single mode 95 to 99 percent is single mode if you pick up an orange cable it's probably not supposed to be used in television. There's plenty of things in the ballroom AV world that used to be multi-mode and now are done in single mode. Maybe the cable is a holdover, a legacy cable, but you probably need to be very, very sure that you should be using an orange cable if you have one in your hand or an aqua cable if you have one in your hand. It's probably not the right cable for the situation. All right, so single mode is the construction on the inside of the cable. You can't tell <laughs> this cable is not bigger if it's multi-mode. Um, in some cases it might be, but anyways, look for it single mode on the jacket or use a yellow cable when you're using television stuff. Don't use an orange cable. Don't use an aqua cable. That's cable type. What's next? connector type. Let's get hooked up, man. Let's put this into something. All right. So there's a lot of different ends on these cables, right? Even on this little cable right here, we have two different ends. This is what we call ST. And this is what we call LC. 
ST as in Sierra Tango, and LC as in Lima Charlie. And I would say that this connector is seen most of the time in uh, television and probably 50% of the time in ballroom. And then AV slash ballroom, whatever, is going to use this other connector. The other, like these are 50 50 in the ballroom world. But um, now we're going to go to the screen and look at some other cable types that are on uh, the internet because I don't have them in my house. Um, because, well, they're not very common in the stuff that I do. Let's see. We have an SC Sierra Charlie. This is um, seen a lot of times in inside the mobile unit or the, the TV truck um, because it's easy to turn around and it's not it's got some good um, qualities as far as uh, snapping and they can make easy hairpins out of them. I'll get into well, I won't even get into what that is. But um, then the next one we have here, which we probably would see on a TV area, is a FC. That's Foxtrot Charlie. Um, I see this with RF over fiber. These connectors um, are popular with brand uh, service providers like CP Communications or BSI Wireless. Um, they have some properties that make them desirable. I know they look like an ST, but they are not an ST, and they will not work together. Can you get an adapter? Well, sure. So um, connector types are uh, easily adapted. Sometimes they're adapted in a cable like this. This is a little adapter cable. Sometimes they're adapted in the bulkhead connector. It is meant to union um, the connectors, but um, connector type can be adapted because we're not changing cable type or fiber type. So as long as you go single mode to single mode, if you have to do an adapter to change the connector, it's fine. As long as you don't change cable types. All right, what's next? All right, next is polish type. Polish type is one of those things that it absolutely matters. You cannot interchange polish types. If you have uh, one polish type, it needs to mate with the same polish type. And once again, we get into the colors here about um, indicating more than people often realize that they indicate. Um, I have blue here. Let's see, blue. What if this connector was another one that I wanted to mate it with was green? Most people would say, ah, it's fine. But fiber is telling you by the connector type or the connector color what type of polish type there is. And so you need to stab blue connectors to blue connectors and green connectors to green connectors. Well, Rob, what are you talking about? What, what else is there? Okay, so UPC, Universal Polish Connector, is blue. Blue for UPC. And then the other type is APC, Angle Polish Connector. And literally what you're talking about here is the face of the fiber. Is it polished flat or universal? Or is it, um, I don't know, this is going to be hard. Is it going to be angle polished? And this angle polish is rare, but do not be confused. Your signal will not go well from a blue connector to a green connector. Um, the RF guys, CP Communications and um, BSI, and many people that are using RF over fiber, that's actually an analog signal over fiber. It has a, uh, a wave to it, a variable amplitude to it, instead of just digital. Who knew? Who knew? But the RF over fiber requires that angle polish to, to um, travel through the connectors easier. So no green into blue. Colors matter. Speaking of that, what's next? Color code, or more specifically, how do I know what number is what? 
And I'm going to tell you, it matters. And it ain't your video color code. These colors matter. There is a standard, and we should follow it. Okay? The first two are blue and orange. In fact, you know what? I'll put up the whole thing here. This is fiber color code. If you'll notice, it goes all the way down to 12, and that's why I think that it's different than resistor color code, because resistor color code is based on a 10-based system, but fiber is based on 12. So these colors mean something. Acknowledge that they're different. Look them up and use them in order. I will say that sometimes there'll be colors on one end and then the other end of the whip will have labels. And if you don't know that there is a different color code for fiber and look it up, then you're going to waste a lot of time putting brown on number one and red on number two. Because that's, um, I don't know, brown is uh, four and red is seven. So get on the right color code. It matters. All right? Good deal. Okay, well that kind of brings us to the end of our discussion of universal practices and, and uh, discussion type, discussion terms for fiber. Um, hopefully, hopefully you've gotten something out of it, but I just want to leave you with one last thing, and that is I was asked um, in an advance call for a, a job that I'm uh, fiber tech on, what kind of fiber are you using? And instead of asking them, well, do you mean what type of single mode or uh, connector type or whatever, I gave them this following answer. And it told them everything they should need to know. Simplex, single mode, ST connector with a universal polish connector. So four different aspects that go into describing the type of fiber that we were deploying and people should be expecting, all right? So hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you go away with this with a better, more exact vocabulary um, about fiber for a TV person or an AV person. All right, let me know how I can help. See you guys.